Yes, there were times I'm sure you knew When I bit off more than I could chew But through it all, when there was doubt I ate it up and spit it out I faced it all and I stood tall Thank you. You're beautiful. Hi, Sonny. Lois, Lois, Lois. I'd like to kiss you head to toe. Blow it out your nose. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Jan. Hi. How's it going? Stunning hard? Oh, yeah, terrific. Really, really terrific. Good. This is the most fun I've ever had before a nervous breakdown. Uh, Jan, wait. It's tomorrow, Lois. The exam is tomorrow. Oh. What am I doing in college? There's no way that I can raise a daughter, study all day, wait tables at night. I cannot do it, Lo. I'm not Jane Fonda. I just cannot handle two things at once. No wonder my husband left me. Jan, your husband left you for somebody he met at your wedding. <laughs> Believe me, this is a man with problems. Hi. Hi. Hi, Cassie. Hi. What's the matter? Uh, you came to work in your outfit? So? It is a little suggestive for streetwear. Oh, please. I just saw a girl roller skating down Sunset Boulevard wearing three medium-sized baggies and a hat. <laughs> so don't talk to me about being suggestive. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Jan. Boy, what a day. My car overheated on the freeway. I got oil in my hair. My radiator leaked all over my dress. Yeah, well, try not to let it get you down. <laughs> I got it. That high. How'd it go? Oh, it was terrific. I mean, it was incredible. Absolutely incredible. Just amazing. I don't believe it. Hey, you got the commercial. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, they really liked me. I mean, they really, really liked me. So maybe. I mean, who can tell? They narrowed it down to four girls and I'm one of them. Oh, honey, that's wonderful. Oh, just think. Next week, I could be the new Dodge girl. <laughs> you got a better shot at being the new Dodge. <clears throat> Come on, girls. I think we better get moving. Okay. Wait a minute. As I remember, you have an exam tomorrow. As I remember, there's still a dentist convention at the hotel. 400 men flossing before coffee. <laughs> Look, we covered for Dot yesterday. We'll cover for you today. Crack those books. You don't mind? Why should I mind? Last night, I got my teeth cleaned for free. <laughs> phone call someone named brad brad yeah he sounded like a nice guy oh gosh oh gee oh gee oh my goodness debbie boone <laughs> what's the problem well he wants me to go away with him for the weekend what's up some clown wants to do a no-tell motel with a kid in palm springs i mean if i go so what does he do his name is brad he's a pilot I dated a pilot once. You dated everything once. Have you dated anyone twice? <laughs> yeah, once. I can't go away with him. Why not? Well, because I never went away with anyone before. Who are you, Heidi? <laughs> Honey, come on. We're all a little nervous the first time we go off for a weekend with a guy. We are? Sure. I remember the first time I went away with somebody. <laughs> he opened the door to the motel room, and there it was in the middle of the floor. The bed. Everywhere you looked, that's all you saw. We spent the first three hours pretending we didn't notice it. <laughs> I hid in the bathroom for the first hour. You mean you went along with them? <laughs> no, Dot. This was another time. Hello, lady. Just Stay. Well, and how are you this evening, girls? 
fine. Oh, good. <laughs> Now, girls, I've noticed that uh, lately uh, a few of you have been putting on a little weight. Uh, perhaps if you'd let us wear clothes instead of a rubber band, you might not notice it. I wasn't talking to you, Lois. Oh, good. For a second there, I thought she was singling one of us out. <laughs> uh, remember, girls, men want their women to be slim and racy. Nancy, I'm a waitress, not a schwin. <laughs> Those of you who want a job here tomorrow, prove it. Oh, thank God that's over. You want such a bad group? Please. Four out of five dentists recommend I sleep with them. <laughs> I'm not here. I'm here. I'm, here. I'm, not here. I'm right here. Tell them yeah? I'm here. I'm nowhere near here. I'm Hold on. It's for you. Bye-bye. Tell them to call back in five minutes. Call back in five, hot shot. <sighs> what am I going to do? He's going to want an answer. Honey, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. There's more to a relationship than just sex. <sighs> Is it because you just don't know him well enough? I've known him for three weeks. But you've never... No. Um, you've been holding out for three weeks? Who is this guy, St. Francis? <laughs> what am I going to do? A weekend in Palm Springs. Hey, it's the same as it is every other time, except you get to go swimming afterwards. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure that's true. Only there hasn't been any other time. <laughs> you've never... Never. It's the truth. I'm a virgin. Yeah, well, that makes 47 of us, you, me, and the Osmond family. <laughs> Vicki, there's nothing wrong with being a virgin. Honey, there's nothing to be ashamed of. We're all virgins until the first time. <clears throat> That's deep. <laughs> Lois, do you remember your first time? Oh, sure. It was everything I'd ever heard it was. He was sweet and caring and attractive. Well, he was so terrific. What happened? I married him. <laughs> what about you, Jan? All the way through high school, I was crazy about this same guy, basketball star. We promised each other we'd wait until after graduation, but of course we didn't. He was kind, gentle. One night he told me he loved me more than anything else in his life. He soothed me, relaxed me. It was wonderful. We promised each other we'd never reveal our sacred night together. That's beautiful. Mm. The next day there was a banner across the boys' gym. Jan Hoffmeyer does it. <laughs> a very sensitive young man. He became a priest. <laughs> it must have been a wonderful experience for him, too. <laughs> It. Vicky, if you don't want to do it, then don't. I don't know if I don't want to do it. He spends more than $40 on dinner. You're required to by law. <laughs> oh, no! Vicky, you can always say no. Right. Thanks. Hi, huh? Listen, I've thought it over, and uh, there's something that you ought to know about me. I've never slept with anyone before. I'm a virgin. What? Jan, it's your mother. Hi, Mom. No, she's serious. hope nothing bad happens. If nothing happens, it was bad. If anything happens, it had to be good. What if something happens and it wasn't so good? Never happen. Even when it's bad, it's good. <laughs> here, 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 here. What? Oh, 
Oh, my. Who is your friend? Oh, I found him dodging cars on the Santa Monica freeway. I was afraid he was going to get hit, so I picked him up. Oh, well, you better not let Nancy see him. Oh, I had to take him to the audition with me. The producers were not amused. What happened? Well, everyone smiled and said, oh, what a cute little puppy. And the producer said, okay, let's see what you can do. And the dog showed him. <laughs> Nancy! Oh, uh... oh, hi! Right, I'm a little late. Uh, I'll make it up to you. Uh, I'll paint your house. <laughs> Lois, would you excuse us for a few minutes, please? Oh, of course. I was just leaving. Hi. Hi. Jana, do you remember that little incident that happened on Table 12 Thursday night? Vaguely. Yeah, well, they're back. Fine. You wait on them. <laughs> Their companies do a lot of business with us, and I want you to apologize to them. Apologize? To the man that pinched her? I also think it would be nice if you bought them a round of drinks. Forget it! Then I break in a new girl. Nancy, that's not fair. Having people cover for her, is that fair? Coming to work bleary-eyed after studying all night, is that what you call fair? <laughs> oh, no, no. No, I think we've been more than fair. That's how I stuff the old tomato. How do you stuff it? <laughs> well, here's one of our own lovely little lovelies. Let's have a warm round of applause for... Sonny would never be blue if he could spend the night with you. Because when Sonny gets blue... Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, you remember Janet. Oh, well, how do you do? Uh, gentlemen, uh, Janet has brought you this round of drinks and would like to apologize for her behavior the other night. Isn't that true, Janet? <clears throat> I, I am very sorry about the way that I acted. It was rude mm. and unprofessional, and I'd just like to say... Ah! <laughs> That's it! Get up and get out! Oh, just and you too! Come on! Get out of here! Come on! Let's move it! Let's ride up and out! And stay out! I know! I know! Oh, don't say it, Lord. No, no, don't say a word. I'll just go clean up my locker. Hey, I'm gone. No, 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 no problem. Uh, take a minute. I'll have one of the girls bring back my uniform in the morning. Uh, I don't know how to say uh, it. I suppose a glowing reference is out of the question, huh? Never. Okay, yeah, that's what I figured. Well, uh, listen, I won't mention your name at the unemployment office. Well, uh, that about does it. I'm packed. Uh, so long. Kiss the girls goodbye for me, huh? I have never experienced anything like that in my life before. And then you... I guess throwing them out into the street was unaccountable and irresponsible. Yes, yes, it was. You should have beaten the living hell out of them first. <laughs> Janet, I... I'm sorry. Uh, it isn't easy for me to say this, but... Uh, I am sorry. Uh, look, um... Maybe you could drop by my house some afternoon and and we could have lunch, you know, and, and chat. And... Oh, that would be very nice. Uh, and I could teach you how to wear makeup. <laughs> Thank you, Nancy. Hey, is everything okay? Oh, did you get fired? Can I have your locker? <laughs> everything's okay. Everything's wonderful. Oh, good. Hello? It's my agent. Yes? Yes? What? Oh! Oh, sure. No, that, that'll be fine. Bye. Well? He got the commercial. The dog got it. <laughs> the dog's gonna be the new Dodge girl? They like the dog, so they hired him for a dog food commercial. Well, Dot, that's wonderful. It is? Sure, she's gonna make a lot of money. True. Maybe I'll get to meet Lauren Green. <laughs> hi. Vicky, hi. Well, hi. did you? Cassie. I had a very nice time. Good. Good. Well, uh, how was it? How was what? It. <laughs> oh, real nice. Uh, they had paddle tennis. I never played paddle tennis. Vicky. We're not talking paddle tennis. We're talking grit. How was it? 
incredible. May I ask where all my waitresses are? That dog got a commercial. And Vicky lost her Lorenzo. Oh, well, check with the bartender. Maybe somebody turned it in. <laughs> Vicky, what's the matter? Oh, I don't know. You want to talk about it? Was it disappointing? It was wonderful. I had a great time. And I think I love him. Then why are you so unhappy? Because I have the feeling that he's never going to want to see me again. Sweetie. Honey, 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 listen. Now, the reason he called you squirrel face is because he likes you. <laughs> well, yeah, that's how 13-year-old boys are. So why don't you just... Yeah, just apologize to him and uh, tell his mother I'll buy him a new retainer. All right, honey. Yeah, kiss your brother for me and tell Daddy I won't be late. All right, sweetie. I love you. Ah, young love. Vicky, hi. Hi. Hi, Vicky. Nothing, huh? No. Listen, there's probably a hundred very good reasons why he hasn't called. Sure, I mean, the guy's a pilot. Uh, maybe he forgot what city he lived in. They all look alike from up there. I'll cover the tables. Why don't you just call him? Call him? Mm -hmm. Me call him? Never. I have my pride. And he has your Lorenzo. <laughs> you do not have pride. Right now, what you have is self-pity. If you had any pride, you'd pick up the phone and say, Hey, what the hell's going on here? You really think so? Absolutely. Good. It's ringing. He's probably not even... Hello, Brad. Vicky. Hi, how are you? Good. I'm okay, too. Oh, oh, um... Well, when you didn't call, I wondered... Right. Well, as long as you're okay. So, uh, right. Well, I hope I run into you too sometime. Bye. <laughs> oh, hey, you did good. <laughs> Now, you were terrific. Listen, listen. No matter what you feel right now, what happened to you was very special. Oh, Lois, that's just it. Nothing happened. What do you mean? I mean nothing. Well, no wonder he split. Poor guy was beating a dead horse. <laughs> I just couldn't. I mean... As crazy as I was about him, I don't know. It just, it didn't feel right. Oh, Lois, I feel so dumb. Dumb? <sighs> Honey, you listen to yourself. That's not dumb, believe me. Somehow that doesn't help. Look, when I left for my weekend, I mean, I knew it was right. It wouldn't have made any difference what anyone else said or felt. He was the one, and when that time comes, for you, you'll know. How? I can't tell you that. Nobody can. You just gotta trust yourself and your feelings, because when it feels right, it'll be wonderful. <sighs> and if the guy's worth a damn, he'll wait. Oh, Lois, I love you. <laughs> Here, kid. I love all of you. Excuse me. I realize you're going through a heavy thing and everything, but I'm dying out here. <laughs> It's a Living is videotaped before a studio audience. 